You're walking through the park with your lovely little poodle. You throw the ball. The pet runs after it and brings it back. You throw again, and he's running happily. Then he stops. The poodle freezes, shivers, then turns around and looks at you. Get it, Snowball! But he doesn't listen. Then you approach the ball, pick it up, and look at the dog. Snowball stares at you with a piercing look. You throw the ball next to him. Snowball, take it! The dog puts his paw on the ball, then slowly shakes his head as a sign of refusal. You're a little scared and look around. You notice some other people in the park also have problems with their pets. Some dogs are barking at their owners. Others are running around. Your poodle looks at you like you've done something bad. Then it goes away. You're running after Snowball, asking him to come back. You leave the park and find yourself on the road. You can hear the creaking of tires nearby. Several people are running in your direction. They're scared. You try to ask them what's happened, but after a second, you understand it yourself. Several elephants, zebras, lions, and gorillas are moving along the road. They jump on cars, demolish hydrants, knock people off their feet. Elephants are screaming through their trunks. When they run past you, you notice penguins sitting on the back of these huge animals. You don't forget about Snowball and decide to find your dog. You're wandering through the streets, meeting other people who lost their pets too. You've got a lot of messages on your phone. Your friends are asking you to check the news. You go online and see that all over the world, animals' behavior has become strange. You can see footage of a panda getting into someone's car and driving away. Another video captured several wolves standing in line at the supermarket. Chimpanzees are running out of a store with packs of books. In another video, several seals push a fisher out of his boat. Three waiters are sitting in the corner of a restaurant while lions are walking around them and roaring. One of these animals puts its paw on the menu. It looks like it wants to order some food. You don't notice a giraffe standing next to you. It bows its head and is also watching the video on your phone. You scream and run away. You approach your house and see Snowball. Your pet is surrounded by several stray cats and dogs. Looks like they're communicating with each other. They notice you and immediately run in different directions. You get into the house with Snowball. Cook your lunch and pour dry food into his bowl. Snowball refuses to eat those crunchy meatballs. He points his paw at your plate and jumps on a chair and waits for you to serve him a normal meal. It's all strange, but you give him your food and sit down next to the dog. After lunch, the dog runs into the living room and sits near the wardrobe. You open it. Snowball points at the second shelf with his nose. There's some blank paper there. You put one sheet on the floor. Snowball jumps onto the table and takes a pen with his mouth. The dog's holding it with his teeth and drawing something on the paper. After five minutes, you look at the drawing and realize that it's a crooked, incomprehensible inscription. And it says, "From now, I understand everything." You look at the poodle, and he nods. From this moment on, the lives of all people on the planet are changing. Your pet isn't the only one who has become sentient. All the mammals in the world are now as intelligent as humans. Dogs no longer walk the streets on leashes. Many pets run away from their owners and never come back. Others stay in houses and apartments, but only under certain conditions. Any pet has to eat the same food as their owner, sleep on a separate bed, choose TV shows to watch, and walk out when they want. Scientists around the world offer animals a chance to pass intelligence tests. Zebras pound out some famous melodies with their hooves. Gorillas are excellent at drawing and writing. Bulls draw geometric shapes on the sand with their horns. As soon as people realize the animals are smart, they decide to release all the mammals from captivity. Pigs, sheep, cows, and other farm animals escape from farms and pastures. They want to be free. Meat products are disappearing from all stores. Milk production slows down. 
because not every cow wants to share it with people. Animals get freedom, but it isn't enough. They want to say something important, but they can't because their vocal cords are not capable of it. To solve this problem, scientists create a collar that reads an animal's brain activity and turns their thoughts into words. Now mammals can speak with robot voices. A million wild and domestic animals come out of forests and the jungle all around the world. Reporters gather around them with cameras. A llama with a collar approaches the microphone. It declares the planet belongs not only to people, but to animals as well. From now on, people are prohibited from harming nature. If they violate the agreement, the animals will begin to take over the cities. A 500-page act is signed. The terms of the agreement are written in detail. Some of the animals move to the forests and jungles, but some mammals want to live in a comfortable urban environment. Several years pass. Animals and people are getting used to a new way of life. Every mammal living with humans now wears a speech collar. This allows them not only to communicate with humans, but also to become full-fledged society members. Now you can see wolves delivering mail on the streets. Antelopes work as track and field coaches. Orangutans work as librarians. One bat becomes a popular DJ and makes the best techno parties. People have learned a lot about animals thanks to the collars. It turns out that bulls are mannered, gallant gentlemen who don't like aggression and fights. Lions admit they love popularity. They want to be actors, writers, and musical artists. Bears are the laziest creatures on earth. It turns out they can't stand hunting and enjoy sleeping. That's why their winter hibernation lasts for months. Lemurs and jerboas are worried about the future of the planet. They work as politicians and hold the positions of CEOs in many large IT companies. But cats have surprised people most of all. It turns out they have always been intelligent. They just didn't tell us about it because they've been living well enough. Since ancient times, cats have been highly respected in many countries. They stay at houses all day, relax, and bask in the sun. People love them and give them food. It's a great life. When they got collars, they said they didn't want to change anything. Famous fashion houses hire animals as models. You can see lions, gorillas, elephants, lemurs, and koalas in stylish outfits on the covers of magazines. Whales and dolphins are mammals too. They've also become intelligent, but their way of life hasn't changed much. They still like to swim in the seas and oceans. One day, people decided to interview a blue whale the biggest mammal in the world. The whale said that two things are important in this world, clean water and the ability to communicate at low frequencies with other whales. And be careful with animals that came here from another planet. Then the whale simply swam away instead of answering the question of what it just meant. Over time, people realize that animal intelligence develops faster than that of humans. They build unique exosuits that allow working with their paws like people. A roe deer gets in the exosuit and builds structures with the help of mechanical hands instead of hooves. Using modern technologies, some animals create comfortable houses in the forests. They also install video cameras on trees to monitor people who decide to chop some wood. Then the animals invent their own language. Now they can communicate with each other without collars using gestures, sounds, and smells. 100 years later, a group of deer and sheep create their own company to conquer space. Mammals send the first rockets into space and colonize Mars with people. <laughs>